Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Thursday, October 24th. Good to see you, Phil, Mark, Lawrence. Look at these great names. Look at everyone. Everyone all excited? Good to see you, Rich. Okay, everybody's back in Kathleen, Dave, Ken, Ben, everybody. Grant, good to see you. Good morning, all. Um, all right, so we've got a couple of good stocks we're going to talk about. We're going to cover this APOP. Everybody remembers this from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, regarding about some people like when do you even maybe consider holding an overnight, which you know that's the number one call in the rule you don't do, and there's a reason for it, and I'll cover that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, but you can see that I know everybody's enjoying this stock from yesterday, the OPOP, and guess what? It's gapped up right now, another 42%. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But before we do that, uh, let me just bring that up right there. Before we do that, let's talk about what happened yesterday. Actually, let's uh, just remember, we'll, we'll talk about what's also moving going on with the classes today. But uh, let's go over and, and cover what happened yesterday regarding about some of the stock that had uh, that had some nice moves. First, I want to start off with the uh, the NLS trade right here. And hold on, I typed in the wrong window. NLS, there we go. All right. So NLS was probably one of the one of the big winners that we had yesterday. The only issue we had with it had a lot of little shakes here and there. But you could see that one right in the middle of the day. It just came from nowhere. Stock literally ran from a buck 20 all the way to about a buck 90. This stock was great. You could trade a lot of shares of it. Uh, even if you're a little bit more an advanced trader, you could trade 3000, 5000, you know, 10,000 shares and get out of it. Um, if you're a beginner, you could trade 100 shares and have fun in the glory of everyone else. Remember, one thing we don't do here at CyberTrade University, we don't brag how much we make. We brag how many points we're up because we're all out for the same points. That's what it comes down to. And this, uh, I think the NLS was probably the best one out of all of them that we did pretty well. Now, I know Josh was in class and he was really focused on this Snapchat. That stock also did really, really well to, uh, for an educational point of view. And uh, there were a couple of good moves on it, too, uh, regarding about the pop on that stock. It was just that you could see, you know, and I know we covered in class regarding about why you got to be careful trading the first five minutes and everything. You could see it's just literally just chaos. And then finally, when it picked its direction, boom, thing went from 10 o'clock, just went from 14.60 down to 13 dollars. Great, nice little short right there. And you know what? She's still looking pretty weak. So sometimes there's a stock that we're trading uh, of yesterday will trickle down into today. Remember what I always tell you? And I, I talk about this in class. I talk about it in here. We talk. The biggest thing you have to understand is that I, for all the people that are day trading haters out there, well, let me tell you something. You better be a damn good day trader first. If you even consider being a swing trader or even what's even worse is an option trader. It's not that you can't do those. You just got to know what happens over the course of the day. Because let me tell you something. Um, I'm going to talk about the OPGN, which is down 50%. Okay. So far in pre-market. And we'll talk about it's exactly what I'm going to explain. We're going to get to that. And that's one of the stocks on the watch list, by the way. TTS, another one right here, nice little mover. Boom, stock a buck ten. This was probably one of the best ones that we had. There was a stock that had that big gap down. It got crushed. Uh, this one, I, I think I, I made my most money in this TTS right here yesterday. I think, uh, and you could trade several thousand shares of it. It was just a great stock, a buck ten, only a buck eighty. I mean, this thing just didn't stop. And, and you know what? You could have chased this stock. That was even the better part of it. You could have chased it. You could have got in. Um, a few times, and uh, it worked out great. So the TTS was really awesome. We did well on that. CVET was another one right here. I want to bring up that one. Not as uh, not as great as all the others, but this one just I don't know what happened. Like the last couple of minutes, just took off. Just literally just went from went bonkers. Went from a buck eighty. You can see right here within the last what fifteen minutes. Nice little winner. Um, we're, we're, uh, I'm gonna watch it today. And one thing I do like about the stock, it was a $32 stock. You know, once again, you want to want to swing trade? Yeah, wake up one morning, it goes from 24 down to 14. Oh, you want to 
average down. Listen to your stockbroker. Yeah, great. Look what happens down the nine. Maybe maybe this is the end. Maybe this is the bounce. I don't know. But after what happened with this little move, I'm going to keep a very close eye on it uh, this morning. So that one also did pretty well. And the OPOP, uh, obviously, this is the one we're going to be talking about now. So this one, obviously, let's go through the watch list. This pro right now is probably the one that is on top of what everybody's been trading this morning. The only bad thing that's been going on right now with this one right here is if you notice, it's kind of flat, you know, like in the middle of the day, it's kind of flat. Now, remember, the one thing I did not like about this stock, and I talked about this yesterday, is um, the OPOP did not really, doesn't really have that many ECN orders out there. Uh, and you could see it's basically a, once I start seeing zeros, all those zeros, that tells me it's on the pink sheets or, or, or a bulletin board stock, which I don't really personally like to trade. But uh, the funny, I, I'm not getting any data on the total view, um, on the uh, level three, on the matrix, but I am getting it on my level four data. So obviously, we got something that's working out right there. So anyway, that's going to be on our watch list. All right. Um, you're talking about the Twitter. Uh, what are you talking about that, Ben? Yeah, the Twitter. I was looking at that one too. So let me explain to you about a little bit about Twitter. Okay, uh, Twitter. You got to be really, really careful. This stock could be extremely volatile. Now, for all the Twitter haters out there, for all the Twitter lovers out there, I mean, even I think Elon Musk hates this owner so much. He was even considered buying the company. I think he said at one point. I think it was Elon Musk. You know, um, just just to get rid of him, whatever it is, because you know, obviously, I still don't understand how they make money, honestly. Um, but anyway. It doesn't matter what Fausto thinks about what you guys think. Stock's getting crushed. Uh, 40 down to 32. That is a huge, major haircut. The only good thing is that it's got it's testing some support levels right here. So that's probably what it could bounce. Now, I'm telling you right now, if you are not, this can go as high as a level four category stock. Okay, I would just stay away from it. You're gonna hear a lot of people chatting about it, a lot of people tweeting about it, you know, and whatever it is, a Twitter is getting tweeted, you know, and getting crushed. Just listen, there are a lot. Remember, you're here to make money, not to trade something because of an ego, because, oh, it's Twitter, or, you know, whatever it is. There's a lot of stocks out there, just like you're hearing all the big news. Uh, Tesla, right? Another one. Company came out with great news, good earnings, stock is doing phenomenal. It's expensive. D don't look at it. Oh, but it's got good options. I don't care if it's got, you know, a, a, a good spaghetti. You know what I mean? It, a, a good sauce. I don't care about it. There are a lot less expensive stocks out there. will give you less uh, risk out there all right um and and like once again paypal another one all these companies came out with great earnings you know you're not going to trade a hundred dollar 104 um 104 dollar stock okay there are a lot less risks out there and oh there's one more too now another one too up uh, you know here's another one's gapped up pretty big but once again look what happened less than a couple of weeks about a, two weeks ago it was at two, 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 uh, two, almost 280. It dropped all the way down to 220. Nice little haircut. How did you know? How did that work out for you? It's, it's just like just, it's not worth it. All right. Remember, we're here to make money. So let's talk about the ones that that we can make money with. Uh, AAL. All right, so this one right now, I know, Ben, you brought it up earlier, and that was a great call on this one. Look at look how pretty this stock is. It's building a nice little Fausto flag. It's got you consolidation. Uh, let me just bring up my level four. There is a – it is a, almost a 10,000 share seller that's holding. It's been there since about – how long has it been out there for? Shoot, he's been out for a while. He's been out there since 7.30 this morning. All right, and he added to his position uh, right around 9, 8.55. So there's a real ba major resistance level is at 30 bucks. So it's pretty much hitting a, a brick wall right there, which is right right now where we're at. It kind of looked like I almost tested and backed off. If it does get through that, I mean, you know, this thing can go to 3.40. But as of right now, that's the reason why it's holding here pretty strong. It did, you know, that's – so if you got in early, like at 9 o'clock at, at 28 – uh, 2880, 28, and you're at 2870. You pretty, you should probably pretty much should have took your, took your profit right now. But yeah, I'm seeing a big, big order out there. Yeah, you can see him right there. There's a, here over here. There's a 30, 37. You can see the guy right here. There's that big, that's a big order. He's been there for a while. You can see it right there. Yeah, this guy got taken out at 29. Once he got taken out, then got took off. But he was out there for a while. So we got to keep, we got to be focused on the orders, guys. 
Um, Got to be focused on you. By the way, did you guys get a chance to see my video on NASDAQ? I don't know if you guys uh, – um, I, I don't know. I think we're sending an email on it. Uh, we got it, – it's on our YouTube channel. Did anybody get a chance to see the the interview I did on the, the NASDAQ Market Center talking about Total View? If you guys ever get a chance to see it. I'll post a link up there so you guys can go. And I think it's right on our homepage or our site too. Uh, we should have it on our website. Not yet? Okay. I'll put the link in a little bit. We'll also email it so you guys can get access to it. All right. So uh, what else we got? Oh, Nokia. That's a nice little cheapy right there. Not doing too well. Nasty little haircut right there. Was it on 20%? Yep. 20%. Testing some... I don't was it testing supports? I don't think it's big and less than size support. I'm not a big fan of Nokia. Nokia to me is more of one of those high frequency um uh uh what do they call it? Uh shoot, what's it called? All those algorithms, but a lot of people do a lot of people trade the stock for what's it called? Uh shoot, what's it called again? Uh, spread trading. You know, like ECN credits and stuff like that. Look at look, look at the orders: fifty thousand, sixty thousand, hundred thousand. So uh, this stock is going to trade a hell of a lot of shares. Look, thirteen million shares. It's only it's only pre market. And uh, what else we got? Oh, so just a tip of the day that I was just talking to you guys early about this. Look at the OPGN, right? This is this is your typical why. You need to be a good day trader. So if you're looking at this stock right here, you can see how it started at four dollars fifty cents, went down, 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 tested new lows. Once, once, it, once the market closed, actually, let me give you a better time frame than that. Look at that stock start at seven fifty. You wake up in the next morning, things down. Oh, it's going to come back, but sure enough, it didn't. Makes lower, lower lows, and the next thing you make up the next morning, you're like, oh crap, I own the stock at seven fifty. I can't take a fifty percent loss. Yeah, great. Guess what? Now you're down to a dollar sixty. What do you do now? You know. So this is why, if you are a good day trader, this is an example. This is the tip of the day. If you're a good day trader and you see the writing on the wall. All it takes is this one, you know, trend, and then you can wake up and don't want to take a loss. Great. This is what happens when you hold overnights because you got suckered in and, you know, and you don't want to take a loss. Boom. You wake up. Listen, the stock less than about a couple of months ago was at $13. Could you imagine having a stock at 13 and you wake up this morning, it's at a buck 60? I mean, there you go. Yeah, you'd be praying, right, Ken? I don't know if you'd be praying. I think you'd be – or hoping, which is like – the carnal rules of trading, uh, I think he filed bankruptcy. You're, you're basically out of business. And you know what? This is why I love trading because I hate seeing people doing this. And I, and one of the things I, I always talk about, there's a lot of people who want to be part of CTU. There's a lot of people like, you know, looking for free stuff. There's a lot of people that are retiring and got all this money. And I always warn them, if you're not getting educated and most importantly, by the right person, this is what you get yourself caught into. And guess what? There's no one to blame but yourself. All right? No one put a gun to your head. So uh, it's the greatest job in the world, but it could put you in bankruptcy. You know what I mean? I like to I like to joke around about it, but, you know, listen, marriage is great. I've been married for over 20 years. I love my wife and everything. But from what I heard, divorce is extremely expensive. So I think you better do your research first before you go out there and, uh, you know, and hopefully it and, and we all know, we know we have a lot of people probably here got divorced and listening in. And hopefully it wasn't as bad because it wasn't a bad stock as much it is. But could you imagine marrying a really, really bad stock, a really ma a bad wife? Forget it. It'll literally just put you, you know. You'll, 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 be, you'll be out of business for the rest of your life. It'll, it'll, clean, it'll clean you up, right? But you know what? The big thing about it is that some of us get remarried, right? And you know what? We could start again, right? And we figure it out. But we, we cut our losses. That's the thing. The same way you cut the losses uh, with a divorce and find someone else. And I know whatever. It's the same thing about trading. Doesn't mean you have to quit, but it's just you want to make sure you don't get yourself involved in something like this because it's really it's very hard to kind of come back from this. Guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. Don't forget classes uh, that are going on. We got the phase two that's starting uh, uh, to, was it to, today. You got lesson one, lesson two, and then you got uh, lesson three and four starting tomorrow. And then we got live trading starting with me in classes in phase three starting next week. All right, guys, good luck. And then I'll put the post a link up there for all of you guys uh, to watch that that video that you know, I, did, I think it was like a 10 minute, almost a 10 minute video that I did on NASDAQ talking about total view. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. We'll start commentating in about the next 15 minutes. All right.